times it's moving mad <laughs> but yeah well, is it really worth all that money hi welcome back in this video i'm going to be talking about grammarly grammarly free grammarly premium <laughs> why should you switch to premium why isn't free enough i'm just going to be reviewing the app grammarly let's go so i have been using grammarly for a while now i recently bought a premium late last year and this is april now so it's been a while uh i have used a uh, free the free version for for more than a year now if, if i'm not mistaken usually i use grammarly on my key as a keypad like for all my socials any text i make <laughs> in general i use grammarly keyboard for it and as well as i use it on my laptop so i have it on my safari like uh plugged on to my browser i also use, so it's once it plugs my browser i use it for my emails i use it for blogs i use it for everything i do basically both on my mobile and as well as my laptop so i use a grammarly a lot <laughs> i've used it for a while now i'm gonna tell you about the pros and cons of using grammarly or i'll just show you how it is first and then i'll end with pros and cons so i've used grammarly for over a year now initially i started with a free plan which i use for up to a year if i'm not mistaken and then i recently purchased a premium uh, platform last year i use it on my phone with the grammarly keyboard everything i type has to be with the grammarly keyboard as well as my laptop my laptop i have uh, grammarly installed on my browser so everything i type on my <laughs> browser be it my google docs my emails everything is hooked up to grammarly Okay. so grammarly is a digital writing assistant tool that helps you correct it's basically scans your text and corrects grammatical errors gives you suggestions make sure that your text ideally is correct <laughs> in any language you type in but i only use it for english okay in a free package right when i use grammarly in i type for example i'll just make an example i'm typing a note now with my notes here yeah? If you're using Grammarly on your mobile, if you install the app, it just has the keyboard status, your keyboard settings, because it connects automatically to your keyboard. And then you have the options of letting emojis also be on it, tone detection, auto correction, enabling ca caps lock, it has shortcut keys, keyboard clicks. And then because I use it for English, right? So my preference either american english australian english british english or canadian english so i could choose either of these uh, currently is an american english which is the default because uh, grammarly is an american ukrainian company it also allows you uh, manage personal dictionary so that means you can add your own words so that it doesn't auto correct like words for example uh, your name is in a different language or you want to type something that is not in the english dictionary but it is correct <laughs> for example i want to type ugu and ugu is u-g-w-u -U, but english doesn't recognize that word so i can just add it to my personal dictionary next time it will not erase it just like in word where you can ignore text forever once it's auto correcting a text or a word and then you can say ignore word forever and then uh Anytime you type that word, you will never get autocorrected for that word again. So Grammarly also has this. It has this option. I think every keyboard allows that. Even your regular keyboard will allow you to save a word and it will not autocorrect you for that word again. So I guess that's just standard. Yeah. Uh, you are also allowed to send feedback. Like if you have an issue, you can uh, send feedback with the provide feedback button and there's a support as well actually support is when you have an issue and feedback is when you're sending the feedback basically it's just self-explanatory like that i've had an issue with grammarly before because i was trying to sync my laptop and my mobile account together and it was just refusing to do that so i guess they had a bug or something so that has happened to me like twice now and it but now it's all cleared up I didn't go to help deck support to request uh, like any help or any support but uh, I think 
they fixed the bug or whatever or maybe it was my fault or whatever i don't really remember what happened but i know the issue resolved <laughs> on its own i tried to sing mode again and it worked if you type and you want suggestions for a different word you just have to double click and then it will show it to you like for a different word uh, just like i'm doing on the screen right now and then even on the same applies for when you're using it on your laptop you can suggest words for you and then even the tone of your how you're speaking you can readjust it i believe that you can even do more with grammarly on your desktop than grammarly for mobile because once you're typing grammarly for your desktop right you have the option of getting it will tell you in how correct your grammar is how clear it is like your statements are the engagement the delivery it's clearly written like once you're typing either on the app or on google docs it, the same applies for microsoft word because it has a microsoft plugin so you can also attach it to your microsoft word and then it can even suggest like sentences for you like paraphrasing for you like maybe when the tone is not right and I'm going to use an example from I'm going to take a bunch of text online maybe from a paper because I mostly use it I actually use uh, Grammarly because I'm a content writer most of my research I definitely need Grammarly for it I use Grammarly for things like this so it can help me paraphrase can ensure that my grammar is okay another good thing about Grammarly it's not on the free version this is only a premium is that you can adjust your goals on Grammarly like for example if your audience is a general audience or they are knowledgeable or there's an expert audience you can set your goals and this will also apply to your mobile phone like once you do it on if you make any change that's why i wanted to sync it last time if you make any changes to your goals or your uh, your audience or your formality which is either could be informal neutral or very formal text if that's the mode of writing you're going for you just adjust it here by setting your goals and then once you make a text it will tell you wow what you're saying you're typing is not really formal it's informal it's neutral and then give you suggestions for how you want to change it uh, how you should make your, your text sound the way you intend it to sound and then it also has options for domain like if it's even academic text for example business text general email casual creative whichever way your text can sound the way it's supposed to sound based on the domain you set it at as well as your tone your tone it will tell you your tone once you type like for example your tone is neutral it will let you know if it's confident it's joyful optimistic friendly urgent analytical respectful you can select all these and ensure that your whatever text you're making actually applies uh, usually i just put confident uh joyful optimistic because most of the time most of my text is uh, like i mentioned research content work so it's uh, reflects in <laughs> the tones uh, if your intention is to tell a story you can just tell it to tell a story or convince people describe something give information you can just set this goal and uh, set it for the particular text you're going for or make it as your default text if that's all you're doing so usually uh, that will work so if you want to set your goals for different texts you can as well do it I think Grammar Grammarly is a very good tool, but is it really worth all that money? I don't think so. <laughs> Only if maybe you're using it for work and then your office space for it or... To me, it's really important because my work has to be right because the free version is enough. Honestly, it is enough, but because... Uh, there's only so much you can do with the free version and you have like an intense need for it like you are a content writer your work depends on what you write and i think you should definitely go for the premium version but there are also other alternatives to grammarly there's uh i think plus um plagiarism checker i'm not sure oh yeah grammarly also has a plagiarism checker which only works on the app annoyingly it doesn't work on google docs i have to go to the app copy my text onto there or upload it or i can see 
the plagiarism the app has more features than maybe when it's on your google docs or on your keyboard on your mobile phone which is super annoying <laughs> It can allow you get expert writing help for an additional fee, which ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> and um, yeah, like I mentioned, plagiarism checker. It has like its own uh, word editor or text editor because you can make things bold, italic, uh, underline, headers, add links just your typical text editor like that you find on maybe wordpress i don't know if you're familiar with that nothing special in my opinion it allows you upload file download file you can even print from the app as well which is a the desktop app i mean uh it has editing or the editor settings that you can make changes to language preference in english like i mentioned generally i think grammarly is a very good text checker tool and then you should definitely if you're in need of it like i mentioned you should definitely go to premium or you should i think everybody should have grammarly on their phone because this is free and then it's going to help you sound better when you text online or you send messages online and even at that because i know i know for a fact that the free version sometimes it's moving mad <laughs> but yeah it's definitely something to check out on this note i'd like to end this video here if you have any questions we can continue this conversation in the comments below if you have any suggestions have you used grammarly before are you using the premium version are you using the free version what do you think about grammarly as a whole like come your way again have a nice day bye <music>